What's up, bitches? I'm McStud. Oof. And I'm Mrs. McStud. Yeah. Mrs. McStud. We're both wearing red. You can call me the lady in red. <coughs> lady in red. Oh, God. Titties on my head. <laughs> Remember that song from the 80s? I think it was Loretta Lynn. I know Lady in Red. I was just making all that up. I think there really accurate. is. There's a song called Lady in Red and there's Loretta Lynn. I just threw them all together. Oh. Not knowing what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, but knowing I, what the fuck I'm talking about. I just know the song I'm not oh. with artists. Happy. And I know it doesn't say titty. It sure does. <laughs> Let's learn to be like sucking on my dad's titties. Mm. Cause mom couldn't breastfeed. <laughs> Do his best to feed us kids. Without using his dick. <laughs> what? <laughs> Happy Malt Liquor Saturday. Oh. Man, how was your day, Miss McStud? Stupid. <laughs> a lot of driving. After yeah. hours? Yeah. About your second job, you had to go back to your first job? Start my day off working six hours at my first job. Come home for what? 45? Yeah, half hour? Maybe. Half hour. Long enough to wake him up because he wanted to sleep all fucking day. Anyways, and I get ready in a half hour, try to smoke a couple cigarettes, and then I go to my second job, mm -hmm. and while I'm at my second job, I get texts and phone calls that I have to go back to my first job. <clears throat> so I clocked out of my second job, drove a half hour, clocked into my first job for 10 minutes, drove a half hour back, clocked back into my second job. <laughs> <laughs> It was a goddamn mess. It was definitely a mess. Goddamn mess. How's your knee? I'm not gonna I can kind of twist it. Are you on the road to recovery? Potentially. Are you on that road? Are you chugging along? But I still can't walk up and down that step at Speedway. Well, that's a whole different, like, it's one thing supporting your body weight while standing and walking. It's another... Lifting your entire weight using that leg. You ever think about using your other leg to step up? I tried both and it hurts both times. Or like even if you're going down, put your one that hurts down first so it's straight and then... Yes, I do. That we don't have to bend I do your do leg. that. I have to think about stepping down the step right now. Oof. And well, it's hard for me to think. <laughs> wait a minute. Don't you have to think that with any step? Let's ask the curb. You're such a dick. Okay, what happened to the coffee pot after your mishap video? So I know we discussed uh, mishaps yesterday and how I have had a few coffee pot mishaps. <laughs> so, Mrs. McStud went to bed. Forgot she told me she's getting Starbucks in the morning. But I, I heard it made me some chicken nuggets because I, I just haven't been, I think I was dehydrated. I haven't been feeling the best. So I'm like, oh, I want to help her out. I, may, I put pizza in a container. Which I forgot to tell you about. That's another mishap. So she leaves without this pizza. Now you're realizing it's there for her. <laughs> and uh, I want to start the coffee pot for her. Starbucks is like over my head at this point. I'm just trying to get something done so she has coffee. <sighs> so I put the basket in with the filter. <laughs> something I've done wrong in some other mishaps. Get the water in it. I hit program and it's ready to go for the morning. I'm like, yes, got the coffee pot ready. <clears throat> I forgot to put the, <laughs> the actual coffee pot <laughs> in the coffee maker. So I was half right, but the coffee <laughs> just proceeded to leak all over the counter and the floor. <laughs> the same floor is mine. Three fucking times this week. In two days. Like two or three days. Yeah. <laughs> that area of the floor is really... And to wipe off the dishwasher. Had the coffee that leaked inside it. And this is all after, like, I have one day off a week. Mm -hmm. One full day. Mm -hmm. And last week, it has, it's been six days. Mm -hmm. And I actually swept and mopped the kitchen floor. And the kids have done really good with the tea. Like, there's no spilled yeah. tea or anything. And then they were gone and I'd be goddamn. Who makes the mess? You. Three of them. <laughs> it was clean for three <clears> days. <throat> it's still clean. I cleaned it up. It was cleaner than I it was know, to begin with. I know, but it's it. funny. <laughs> like, 
my one day off, like, and I swept them off that kitchen last week. I'm kind of afraid to stand in that spot <laughs> right now because my track record this week has been very horrible. <laughs> I got another day, and next uh, Monday is the start of a new week. Hopefully, things go better. Usually, it's Sunday that starts a new week. Who the fuck starts a week on a Sunday? By the calendar, it really is Sunday. That's stupid. Sunday is It's just a day off before your work week, unless you work weekends. Sunday through Saturday. That's not true. That is a definite week. No, it's it's Monday through Sunday. I know what the calendar shows. I'm disagreeing I'm with the calendar. With You're right. I disagree with the calendar. Oh, so you agree with me? You're right. The, the, according to the calendar, all the days on the left start on Sundays. But I don't agree that people's weeks. I need weeks. to try something while I think about it. What's that? Are you going to toss my salad with vapor rub? Seriously? But I just thought about it. So we had a fire last night <clears throat> and uh, we're like, we'll watch Big Brother by the fire. So we got to pull up our Hulu and all it shows is uh, Wednesday's episode. And I, don't, I didn't look at the schedule. Just Big Brother's usually Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. Unless they add like a Friday or an extra day to it. So last night we're looking and it only shows that one episode. I was like, well, maybe they just had a, a brain fart and it'll pull it up tonight. So we get home, and she's like, did you ever see that Big Brother episode or pull it up? I'm like, so I look again, and it still shows Wednesday. So I have look at the schedule. For whatever reason, they skipped Thursday this week, and episode two is on well, tomorrow. So we're over here looking like dipshits, trying to find this Big Brother episode that didn't exist yet. We do have on tonight. Yeah, they're on the co-main. <laughs> uh, Mr. <laughs> My Balls was hot. Derek Lewis, main event. Not the best fighter in the world. He's got a lot of power, and it's fun to watch. Especially his post-fight interviews. After, yeah. Like that, that, he's a big dude. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want the black beast to fucking hit me in the head. He might take my fucking head off. He's a big dude. Beep, I just, I just thought I wasn't tired. Well, you just yawned. You're actually getting to sit down. This is the first time you sat, sat. Really. For all day. With an extended period of time. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't going to sleep all day tomorrow. Like, I was going to sleep until I fucking woke up mm -hmm. on my own. Yeah. Like, it might be 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay. That's my spot. Okay. Well, that's fine. But yeah. I might still sleep until noon or 2. Okay. That's okay. Um, I was just thinking about something. And let me tell you guys what. It's going to be great. Are you not thinking about it? I, I, I just thought what, about what, it. What the fuck? I just thought about it. I, I, it's going to be great. <clears throat> Why can't you say it? Because I just made it up. I'm so confused. I didn't really think of anything. I just acted like it was and waited everyone for like, oh, what's he going to say? The suspense of it. Yeah. You're an asshole. <laughs> Between working where I work now and the prison, mm -hmm. I've seen and heard everything. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff you haven't seen. Well, I if there is, I probably don't want to see it. Best thing ever was when Miss McStud worked in downtown Indy, Indy several years ago. And I my my job, really laid back job. I could take my phone with me. I listen to music while I was doing my all trips around the facility. And I get a text, babe. If if someone gets stabbed in front of me, should I call the cops? That was a legit question. Like when I'm like. <clears throat> so I'm sitting there at first, I'm like, well, that's weird. So I'm like, get ready to type up. Yeah, you probably, and then I start thinking, I was like, why would she text me that? So I stopped texting and immediately called her. And then she tells me that down by Banker's Life, she's walking back to her car and a homeless dude got stabbed or something. Yeah. In front of you. Yeah. I was like, well, how about you find, get, get the fucking safety and call the cops first and foremost? Well, there's already sirens coming. I'm like, that, that's the kind of shit I get. What? Get your fucking self safe. Well, I didn't just stand there and then, like watch. Like what? no, I kept walking. What well, with, like, with the context of the text? I'm like, not, like it all hit me. I'm like, dumb. no, I didn't say you were. I was like, what? No, go somewhere. Find find like a security guard. There's always security somewhere out in that area. With someone on bankers there. Like, get get somewhere safe and then call the cops. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> I'm like, I want there in Texas and just like, why would she ask if she's seen someone get stabbed? Because I did. I'm like, <laughs> and why would you just sit here and text about it? 
That's, that's what you just witnessed. Well, I don't know what to do. I'm like, I don't know if I should, like, if I, normally, like, when you see something like that, you have to wait on the cops to get there, but I didn't want to wait on the cops to get there, so I didn't know if I should text or, you know, call them or just leave. Leave and call? But I didn't want to be there. Yeah, I'm saying leave, get away, and call. But they would want me a statement from me. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> as long as you're safe. <clears throat> yeah. That was, this was years before, like, Mindy's always had a lot of crazy shit, but the last few years has just gotten... Really bad. Really bad. I mean, it's not as bad as Chicago. I want to go to Chicago. Do you? Yeah. Chicago is cool. I just want to go to get, really, to be honest, just some Chicago pizza. Awesome, legitimate yeah. Chicago and pizza. And see, like, the, the... What are those called? Skyscrapers? Skyscrapers. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I just, I think it would be a nice trip. That'd be cool. I've only been downtown once. I've just never to go been to, to Chicago. ESPN Zone. And I've driven through where you can, like, on the highway. Like, I think that, I can't remember if it was Toll Road. I think we went through a Toll Road. My my buddy lived uh. up there. And uh, <laughs> never went anywhere downtown. He lived in a little suburb. Uh, then one time we tried to go to a baseball game that didn't work out. But. Why? Yeah, just didn't. Um, but yeah. We wanted to. But you we and your buddy? We, yeah, we just didn't have oh. we didn't have tickets. We were just trying to get there and train oh. was late and it was crazy shit. But yeah. But uh you there's a lot of nice areas in there up in there and then there's areas you don't really want to go to. Just like Indy. Ah. I, I should really probably carry every time carry my weapon every time I take this is instead of work. There's always some fucking Especially at crazy Especially at 7.30 fucks. at night. <laughs> yeah, well, we didn't plan on that. Like, I I went up for Miss McStud's break, and she left her Red Bull in the car, and I went to take it back, and the next thing you know, we're going to, going to Indy. <laughs> like, well, shit. <laughs> Sorry. No, nah, it's okay. It is what it is. But it was just one of those, well, we didn't really plan on that. Just things uh, progressed quickly. Mm -hmm. That escalated fast. Yeah, and then... uh. <laughs> that happened. What? What happened? <laughs> that. Mm. See, yeah, the cool thing is, I gotta repeat it. Oh right my now. god, that stung! What? What did you eat? I ate that white chicken penne with uh, some bread and butter, and uh, yeah, bread and butter, and I put pepper and uh, garlic salt in it. What? It smells like jerky I, or something. I had coffee earlier. Smells like jerky. I haven't had no damn jerky. I was about to yell at you because last time you ate jerky, you hurt. Jerky? Oh, that was fucking Slim Jims. Those are different than jerky. So there's a jerky I really kind of want to try. Mm -hmm. I don't really like jerky because they they hurt my teeth. Mm -hmm. Like I don't. They'll, I they'll to, dry it out and they're a little yeah. tough for you. But there's, I can't remember if it's called soft or chewy jerky. There's very there's differences in jerky. A lot of the a lot of the main no, ones. No, it's actually called that. Yeah, because like, a lot of the, the a lot of the main ones are really kind of tough, a little chewy. But they do make actual tender jerky, which Maybe that's I've never got to try. Actually, I think it'd be great to try. It's it a bag, like it's, but it's like seven bucks. Well, that's yeah, it's always expensive. But jerky is amazing. But I've always wanted like a uh, a tender jerky. I like homemade deer jerky. Hmm. I've made homemade jerky before, but never deer. Oh, like no one in my family really hunted. So venison whenever I had it, like is the best. I'd have to get it from people I worked mm. with. <laughs> I used to make like the the venison uh, sausage. I don't kind of like a summer sausage, but they'd put what they wanted where in. Where we it. live, I don't know anybody that hunts up here. All my buddies that hunt is in Newcastle. Yeah, I was never raised to hunt. My my uncle did. But he didn't really do like deer hunting or anything. He just hunted uh, my dad like live trap everything. and his ones where they <laughs> fucking clamp, not bears or anything, just small animals. He well, <clears throat> he hunted uh, deer and coon. Yeah. And when he wasn't doing that, he was fishing, skinning them. Yeah. Never had to skin a fish. Ugh. Watched it done. It's fucking disgusting. No, nah, not the worst thing in the world. Just chop their fucking head off and. The worst part's really the descaling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And it's a little bit of blood if you're not used to that. Not a lot. But, yeah. I like about a pond, like, one time. They caught a whole bunch of bluegill and they... Skinned them. Skinned them or, or descaled them and flayed them. And I never got to try it, though. I wish I would have at this point. But at that time, I didn't like to try shit like that. I was young. I don't think I've ever tried bluegill. Not, I haven't either. I think I've... My dad always just caught catfish. Yeah, you can do that with those, too. Catfish. Mm-hmm. And that's what I ate. Catfish is good. Except don't get it at the casino. Never. <clears throat> again. Ever. Best thing ever wear at the casino. That wasn't the last trip, was it? The trip before that? I think it was the trip before that. A year or two ago. And, uh, here in Anderson. <coughs> And have like a southern, like Louisiana style Cajun restaurant upstairs. And they had some po' boys, which are that fucking uh, shrimp one I got was fucking amazing. And this McStud guy decided to get the fried catfish. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it looked really good. It was so tender, it tasted good. And everything was fine. And we, we had some monsters <coughs> in the car because, you know, every once in a while, like, you don't want to buy a Red Bull from the casino. They're expensive, so getting to that point of the night, we're like, well, let's go have a Red Bull. When the Red Bull time? Mm -hmm. so we're just sitting in the car, and all of a sudden, she just doesn't feel good. Like, she's been fine all night. And, uh, I forget, were we going to go back to the hotel already, or? No, no, we were going back in. Oh, she was just sitting there and just like, Bleh. Like, I don't know where. Bob, and I'm like, holy shit, so I just. Put my seatbelt on, put the car in reverse, like, we'll get you back to the hotel, get you cleaned up. But, uh, we had to stop at Walmart, because like, she needed a new shirt, because I think it was our second night there. So, we yeah, didn't we only pack for two it. nights, we didn't have any clean shirts. I had to run in Walmart real fast, I grabbed some paper towels and her a new shirt, <laughs> while she's just sitting in her own vomit. Then we get back to the hotel, a little red roof in, and I, it's late, you know, probably midnight, one o'clock in the morning. I was like, hey, bring some towels. We usually only usually give those out in the morning. He's like, don't be stingy on the fucking towels. <laughs> I mean, for fuck's sake. So I got a couple towels and I cleaned with some stud off. Didn't you shower? No, I didn't. No, you just wiped I think off. that they were out of... I think they didn't have lights. No, that was before we left. They were back on my time. Oh. Back. That no, was a I whole other shower. thing. We woke up and the power was off. Because I wanted to go back to the casino, so yeah. I didn't shower. So I she just, just cleaned off. off. She cleaned off real good. Felt fine after she vomited. And then mm -hmm. we went and proceeded to drink until 5 or 6 in the morning <laughs> and play slots. <laughs> well, we can only drink till a little after or 3. Mm -hmm. So that was when we double fist our draft beers. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck it. Then they get mad. Like, you need to drink that. I'm like, okay. It's gone. <laughs> I'm waiting to go back. Yeah, they closed it for a while. They reopened it finally, but I don't know how long that's going to last. Cause... They have live dealers now on mm -hmm. the blackjack. Already have COVID cases keep, like, we're in the fucking, at least a thousand now the last few days. We set a record two days in a row, then we went down. We still hit another thousand a day, which is high for us, but which is fucking stupid. But, hey, this is what it is. I saw a box that don't wear a mask at Speedway. Yeah, this is true. I just take mine off them. Mm hmm. I guess two wrongs don't make it right, but fuck it. Well, it sucks to work in a mask. Especially the when cop you're... goes, Are you still serving people without a mask? I'm like, Fuck. Because he's going to sit out there and fucking get them. Oh, God. But I was like, Yeah. I was like, And to be honest, if they don't have theirs on, I ain't wearing mm -hmm. mine either. Well, he can't do nothing about it. Like, it's not enforceable by law now. Oh, it isn't? No, I remember because Holcomb wanted to make it a, a, a felony or not a class B a misdemeanor. misdemeanor. And then they, uh, the rest of the Indiana... I thought that they, you can't just, like, hole in for that. They're not going to just sit there and arrest people. No, they're not. You have but, to, they have to contact the health department. But there, there's nothing they can do by law to oh. for fucking people. Unless the business requires masks, and you ask someone to leave without a mask, and they cause a scene, oh. then that can be trespassing. Yeah, you do. You know, it's like, you know, if you have a bad customer with or without mask, and they need to leave and you ask them and they don't mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of like that then 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 you call the cops and they come and remove them from the the uh property but yeah good times 
Hey, baby. What? When's the last time you uh, waxed your butthole? Seriously? What? I was just thinking, I got a candle in there. I can throw it. You just bend over and drop some hot wax on it. Put one of those pads on it real fast. And like rip it off. Ew. What? No, that's disgusting. Why? Sorry, I'm talking for my kid. <laughs> You're star saving. I'm talking about waxing your butthole. <laughs> I have never once distracted Mrs. McStud in her life. So. Well, he's asking me where to put a basketball goal. Oh. No, we can't really. We can put it in the driveway, but if you want to get that little thingy, we can't really put that in the driveway. We can put it in the grass. What thingy? That little plastic court you want to do with the chunks? Why can't we put that in the driveway? Because they got to be able to drive their trucks and shit. Actually, around. I was thinking about putting that towards the road. Or in that grassy area. Mm hmm. Yeah, it'd have to be in the grass mm -hmm. somewhere, probably. Unless we just put the goal up and we dribble in the, the uh, gravel. When you come to give me, bring my wallet. <laughs> Goddamn. Give the boy a wallet, now he can't have it. You gotta have it all the time. Need my wallet. It's good to start that at that age, though. Get used to having it. Cause he's That's gonna all need you. It. I didn't. He's gonna, he's gonna need it once he gets an ID, finally, and yeah. have to carry it he with him all the time. ID. Yeah, that's no, an old one, though. You know what I mean? Like, his little young one. Yeah, but, I mean, it's still identification. Yeah, but, uh, it's not expired. Yeah, I wonder how they're going to do uh, school IDs this year. Why? For all the people at home. You ever see those memes like school pictures this year? It's kids in pajamas making a pose. <laughs> I don't think that they're going to be in school. <laughs> Require IDs. Mom. Um, that's hard telling. That's a whole other aspect of school and one really discusses i think they i literally think most schools in indiana will be closed by september 1st <clears throat> with some of the schools that's had positive testing they're just like oh we're following the protocol well i so disagree with that bullshit mm -hmm. for real yeah well follow protocol well, what are your staff doing off the clock not following protocol i mean it's easy i mean everyone has to go to the store she like that i mean no one can be completely isolated and she like that and there's no money funding just like oh you stay home we'll go get your groceries and everything you fucking need like it's impossible it's an impossible task is what it is i think it's bullshit yeah you like bullshit mm -mm. i got some real shit i took a nice dookie earlier Serious. I said, I was you like, just saw a little piece of bullshit that I have to deal with in my first job today. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That was, that was fun. <laughs> fun and exciting. <laughs> Anyways, happy Mauler Saturday. I'm McStud. I'm Mrs. McStud. We'll catch you bitches tomorrow for Mauler. Mrs. McStud's going to suck my taint Sunday. No. What? Oof. Oof.